rivets go into our little run through of the relaxes and deep stretches to open the hips and help your seating postures become more comfortable. So having done your three minute stretch as always before you start your yoga practice to safeguard your body from overstretch, we start with a squat. Just to bring us down to a seated or rather in this case a kneeling position. So we're coming down, we'll just use a little moment of balance and then ease the knees down, sit back on the seat. Rotation, hand on across the knee, case I've got right hand on left outside of left knee and the other side there's a little reference here we're coming into bridge lift Just nice and easy, arms above the head, little stretch, lengthening neck, pushing up higher, and then lower the arms, walk the shoulders down so you can hold around the ankles, and push up a bit higher, rolling shoulders back, up, up, up a bit. Release the hands, spread out to shoulder level, roll the spine down. Knees relaxing to the left, head to the right. Let go, let go, let go. Three breaths. Slowly back and over to the other side. Knees to the right, head to the left. Again, relax into it. Just let your body be drawn towards the ground, particularly the shoulders, left shoulder in this case, opposite shoulder. Slowly back, on in breath. And then again, we're going to repeat that. So our bridge lift, lifting, stretching, reaching into it, lifting higher, stretching out back of neck. Relax the arms. Walk the shoulders down, wrap the hands around the ankles, roll back shoulders, push up higher, higher, higher. And slowly release down. Seize the feet away for comfort a little, spread the arms to shoulder level. And this time we'll go to the other side first. So I'm going to the right, looking to the left. And hold it for the three breaths so that if you're not watching you're just listening it will fit in to make you relax and enjoy fourth in breath we're coming back over to the other side out breath relax you a little bit more slowly back on fourth in breath right leg coming in 
left leg sliding away. Just easing the leg towards you. Release it a little bit on in breath and a couple more. Squeeze on out breath. Release on in breath. Squeeze on out breath. This time we are holding round the sole of the foot, spreading the left arm wide, letting that right leg ease out to the right. Just let it gradually relax. Gravity will be working for you. Just let it slide its way down. Don't try and stop the left leg from sliding a little towards the right. Just let it go. Go with the force of nature. Let your body do whatever it can do. When you've had about three, four breaths, ease your way back on an in breath. We're going to change hands so we can take the leg over to the other side. Slowly, slowly does it. Don't worry about a rigidly straight right leg. A little slight softness to the knee is acceptable. Try and relax the shoulders, particularly the right shoulder. As you breathe and hold the pose, just feel yourself stretching in a relaxed and easy manner. Now we're going to bend the knee, right knee. Bring the foot into the groin. And just ease the knee away towards the bottom of your mat. So you're rotating the hip. Spread the arm just comfortably. Tuck the foot in a bit more. And then see if you could release it. This is in fact Ardha Padmasana, half lotus position. Let's take the hands up, stretch and lower again. Help the leg back, stretch it up to the ceiling, bring the leg towards the face. Tuck elbows in, raise the nose if you want, towards the knee, always good for the digestive system. And release back. Slide the leg away. And let's go with the other leg. So we're stretching up. Leg stretches first, ease the leg towards you, ease off in breath. Again, <clears throat> nice deep, few dry breath right to the bottom, and one more. <clears throat> See if you can wrap your hand around the sole of your foot. If you can't manage that, Use a tie of some sort, or a scarf or a sock. Just wrap it round and hold both ends in left hand. So right arm can be stretched out and quite relaxed and easy. The leg is straight and we're taking it out to the left. Slow and steady. Just easing as nature takes it. it might not be the same as it was on the other leg just take it easy go with the flow don't force it if you find one leg is not anywhere near as good as the other leg it's not really the leg it's usually the hip that is the problem you might want to do it twice on this side or whichever side is weakest. Make sure your face is soft, 
Enjoy breathing, relaxing, connecting with the breath. We don't ever force it to make both sides the same. We just work the side that is weakest a little more by repeating it. Other side, we're going across the body now. Don't need to be quite so straight the leg this time, a little softness to the knee joint. And if you want to, once the foot is relaxed down, you can try straightening the leg a little bit. But only momentarily. Bend the knee, bring the foot in towards you, roll back. Place the foot, outside edge of the foot, into right groin. You can use the other hand if you like, just to roll the knee away from you, or the thigh, I should say. You won't be able to reach the knee. When you've gone as far as you can, just ease the side of your foot in a little closer to the groin. And then release the arms if you can. If it won't stay there, then keep the right hand in position holding it and then if you feel you can take a stretcher lengthen keep the abdomen soft and flat and then lower on any out breath help the leg back stretch it up to the ceiling squeeze the leg towards you I like to just do the head to the knees, so I wrap my arms around. This is always good for the digestive system and for alignment. Slowly raise the nose to me. And then knees back. Then knee to chest, little squeeze, and slide the leg away. We're coming up once more. You might want a little padding for your seat. Not so much for this one, we're gonna do the twist, but I think for the next one, you might quite like a little padding. So we're taking left knee, left foot across right knee, wrapping the arms around. Again, for digestive system, really, the twist. Nice straight spine does help to free up the spine and the hips too though. Big stretch out, sweep the arm around. Place it on the floor, just the arm to where you're comfortable, the right arm, and then squeeze the knee across on out breath, across the body to the right. Again. And once more. Slowly release back. Let's do that on the other side. Arm wrapping round. As far as you can. If you can't get the arm round, just the hand will be fine. Stretch out the right arm. Ease it around. Hand on the floor, draw it in close to the body. We go with those three breaths, easing into deeper twist. If you breathe out, squeeze the knee across to the left this time, looking over right shoulder. Again. And one more. Slowly release. Spread the legs comfortably. Make sure your sitting bones on your padding. Could use a block here under your seat. Nice straight back. Hands just resting lightly on the thighs or the knees, wherever it's comfortable. Straight back, head up, and we're just simply rocking back and forth.
about five of them. And then do a few little circles. About three in each direction, just easing the hips out so that these next couple of postures are going to be a bit easier and more comfortable. And I'm reversing. All the time my back is straight, it's as if I have an iron bar strapped to my spine. So it doesn't bend and the head stays facing forwards, not dropping down. I think that's three. So now we're going to go into the full circular movement that you've just been doing. Just adjust my clothing a little bit. Things are coming apart a bit. Right, let's go. So we have right hand alongside right leg. Legs comfortably wide apart. I've got an awful lot of room here, but do the best I can. So we're sweeping out, opening the chest, the shoulders. Now lift up to the ceiling. Stretch up, let the right hand lead the way down. Reaching out, think out, not down. A bit more. Now let that top arm come down towards the floor so your hips are rotating forward. And both hands facing the floor. Ease to the middle, relax, head down. Unroll the head to continue the circle. Round to the left. Right hand joins left. Lengthen. Now sweep the right arm up. Again, that opening of chest, abdominal lift. Stretch up, draw back, and lower. Straight to the other side. We're going to do exactly the same thing, going in the other direction. Left hand this time, palm facing out. Right arm stretching out to the right. Lift it up, grow a bit taller, straighter. Head lifted out of the shoulders. Slide away, relax down. Take a breath or two if you're enjoying it. Try to keep the chest open, face showing, arms either side of the ears. And then relax down, palms to the floor, come to the middle, relax and let go. Take a breath or two here too if you want to. And then round to the right, palm turns out. Left hand joins in. Lengthen. Eyes on left hand. As you sweep it up, chest open. Shoulders open. Stretch up. Draw back. And lower. Bend the knees. Right foot comes in close. Left foot in front. This posture is called Siddhasana. One heel in line with the other. The knees as relaxed as possible. If you're sitting in this posture for any length of time, you might need some padding under the knees or further down under the thighs and the calf muscles. But for now, we're not going to be in it for long. So we're taking right hand. If you can, rest the forearm on the floor. If you can't manage that, maybe put a book there or a block. We're sweeping left arm now. Lifting it 
up. It's quite a tough movement if you keep your arm on the floor and lower on out breath. Other way, but easier this way because you're opening. You might want to just go a little bit further and release down. Spread the legs wide. So remember we had right foot in front this time because when we come back and repeat it, we're going to need to change the feet around. So now we have left foot in and we're going for our full side bend. So we're stretching up. We've got that nice open stance, both arms stretched. Lift up, slide the hand away, and relax down. Don't push it, because this leg can get quite a big stretch from this position. So just give it time to settle. Three breaths if you can. If it's not bearable, then come up sooner. So when we come up, we're stretching out first, then lifting, stretch up, draw back, and lower. So we do all that on the other side. So this time we're bringing left foot in first, right foot in front, left palm to the, uh, sorry, forearm to the floor. And we're sweeping up, 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 and down. Other side, up, up, up. You might find it's easier this time because these big joints in the hips, they s stretch out more easily. So this time we're stretching left leg out. Right foot in close to the body. Let's move over a little bit. Off we go. Big stretch up. Reach up. Slide left hand. A long left leg. Easing into a lovely open side bend. Three breaths if you can. Lift up, big stretch, draw back. So we're now sliding the legs out in front. You're using your mat as padding. Let's get it out so that you can stretch your legs out and slowly, slowly unroll. Take a few resting breaths. Three or four. Then we're going to bend the knees. And let's place right leg over left. Arms are outstretched. Just easing the hips out a little bit more. Ready for our seated positions. Little rock of the head. Nice loose neck. This leg that is across is well over so that it's nice and relaxed and just laying there, quite heavy. As you breathe out, let the knees sink to the left. Take it easy, just relax into it. Watch your body opening up. The stretch is developing. Shoulders connected to the mat, not rolling into this. So those shoulders quite flat on the ground. We're going to take left hand down, rest it on 
the outside of right knee. If you can't reach, just hook the knee up a little bit so you can just get a firm grip on the outside of the knee. Keep that relaxation in the shoulders and let the head turn to the right. And then slowly on out breath, ease that right knee towards the floor. Go right to the end of the breath. When you breathe in, release it a little bit, just an inch or so. And then squeeze again on out breath. Down, down, down it goes. One more. We're enjoying the stretch. Still easing closer to the ground, but there's no force involved. Is simply wanting to ease down to gravity and then release the hand. Roll back the left knee. So it's the under leg that comes back first and then the right leg will settle onto it and just get a ride back to the middle. Just iron the body out, feel the, the bones Nicely aligned on your mat. Adjust the foot on the floor so that it's in line with your spine. Tuck your chin down and then let the knees sink to the other side. Again, keep it natural, slow, easy. Close your eyes. Just focus on the feel of your body. Developing your mindfulness aware of the body's feelings in stretch. Head can turn to the left and just be aware of letting go on each of the next three out breaths. So by the time you've completed this posture, you feel as if you've gone to your Full stretch and slowly back to the middle. Uncross the legs. And let's have right over left. Sorry, left over right. Same direction again. We're going to the right. Head to the left. And squeeze the knee down, just encouraging a bit deeper stretch. Ease off a little on in breath. Squeeze again on out breath. Ease off in breath. Last one. Release the hand, a little bit of bounce back. Just bring back under leg, remember? So this time it's the right leg that's carrying the left one back. Line up, foot in line with the tailbone, shoulders square, chin pointing to the hollow in your throat with a nice long back of neck. And then relax to the other side. Same leg on top. Just watching the hips gradually opening up. The more you relax, more space in the hip joint. Bigger stretch in the quad muscle. Head turning to the right, let go, let go. Three breaths. Easy.
across the feet at the ankles. Let the sides of the feet make contact with the floor and allow the knees to gradually open. So we're in a lying Siddhasana pose. Try and let go. Let the inner thighs, the adductor muscles, just let them stretch in their own time. Just enjoy a few breaths. And then use your hands underneath the thighs to just draw back. And cross the ankles in the other direction. And open up once more. Might want to just put your hands in the Hasta Mudra, first finger and thumb touching, Guyana Mudra. And enjoy a few breaths. If it's not comfortable, then of course don't stay so long. Ease the knees back if you need it. If you don't need to help the knees back, just push down the small of the back, that bit behind the waist, and draw the knees back under your own belly shot. Draw knees to chest, coil, raise nose to knees. Slowly release back. Slide away the legs. Stretch out the heels, tuck the chin down, and just relax completely. Two breaths. Coming up, if you can, just rolling your way up using your core muscles. Again, bring some padding in for your seat or use a block. It really depends on how much padding you need. If you have a block and you find it more comfortable, much better to use it than to be too proud to think you need it because the more comfortable you are, the better yoga works because the more relaxed you are. It's no good forcing any posture really, but particularly seated postures which are often used for meditation or relaxing. So we're going to start with that Siddhasana. Get your sitting bones on your padding and we'll bring the right foot in first, line it up with the centre of the body, base and the centre. And then bring the left foot, see if you could line the heel up with the right heel. And then just rest your hands comfortably. Close your eyes and take a few breaths. Think about your posture. Your spine is straight. Your knees are relaxed. Your stance is steady. Very hard to fall out of this posture. And that's what is common to all these postures we're going to do today. So that is Siddhasana. We better do it on the other side. So bring the left foot in close. Right heel in line with left heel. Maybe use a different Hasta Mudra. Let's use the middle finger. And that finger represents the ether. So the space. Just close your eyes and think about space. Clear the space in front of your closed eyes and feel the peace when you do that. No longer thoughts buzzing around, you've just cleared them away. So we move on from there into our Ardha Padmasana. So from Siddhasana, instead of this right foot, we'll keep the left foot in, instead of the right foot being in front of the left, we're bringing it up 
into the groin. Um, if it's difficult, you might find a bit of padding under the knee will help. Again, this shouldn't really affect knees. The, the movement should be coming from your hips and the lengthening of the quads and the ligaments along the legs. It's not really a knee thing. So if you have a knee injury, you may well still be able to do it. And especially if you pad underneath the knee. So this time we're gonna stretch up, cross, right over left as we have the legs and release down. And then the other way round. So the right foot is in and this time the left foot on top of right leg. Close into the groin, sole of the foot pointing up. And again, stretch up. Left over right, stretch. Backs of hands together. Pause. Hold it for a breath if you want. And release back down. Ardha Padmasana. Half Lotus. Just stretch the legs out for a moment. Just to give them a little bit of a rest. Might want to rock a little. Make sure your seated. Sitting bones are on your. Padding, and let's try for Padmasana, the full lotus. You might find you want a little more padding. You can have a good pad of padding for this. In fact, they do sell meditation stools and cushions just so that you can release the pressure on the um, muscles and the joints um, on the um, hips. So we're going to come in once more. Again, we'll do right first. We're bringing right foot. We're going to try and place it in the groin. And then if you reach down, and we're bringing left foot also in the groin. So you've locked the legs in place. It's very difficult not to have a nice straight back in this position. And it's a very steady position. So if you go into quite a deep meditation, it's um, reasonably certain that you won't fall out of it if you go deeply into your, your meditation. So let's just rest the hands. Let's have them in the lap this time. Left palm in right, thumbs together. Won't hold it too long, but about three breaths if you can. Take a stretch up and release. And let's change it around. Stretch the legs out. And then bring, uh, sorry, right foot in first, left foot into right groin area. And off we go again. This time, Gana Mudra, Mudra of air. Three breaths, thinking of air, how it feels, how you draw it in, whatever you like, but the feeling of airiness. And release, stretch the legs out, it'll rock back and forth. Now just sit in any one of those three positions that you find comfortable. Probably 
Um, for most people, you'll want to come back into one of the Siddhasana postures, whichever foot in front suits you best, because we're just going to have a short meditation. Just hands resting comfortably, spine straight. If you're happy in the full lotus or the half lotus, then by all means, sit in one of those postures for this final little meditation. Close your eyes. Feel your breath. Focus on the breath. Feel its rhythm ebbing and flowing. And then just visualize you are sitting in your meditative position, your asana. And your eyes are closed, but you're on a beach. on the smooth sand near the sea. And you can hear the gentle rolling of the waves. Now bring your breath to fit in with the rhythm of the waves. As you breathe in, the, ray, the wave pulling back, reaching its crescendo, the crest of the wave, and then as you breathe out, let the wave break and fall towards the beach, hearing toss of the shells, a little bit of shingle, and then the drawing back again. breaking of the wave and the flow of energy, cleansing, peaceful, calming, sound of eternity. Fitting in with one of the consistent sounds of nature. See those waves in your mind's eye. Feel them washing your thoughts away. Clearing your mind. Cleansing. aware once more of your body as it touches the earth or the sand. Feel your position, how steady you feel, how calm your mind, how clear your brain. And then just slowly open the eyes. Take in your surroundings. Blink the eyes a few times. Roll the shoulders. Unwind the legs. Stretch them out into a V shape. Ease forward from the hip joints. If you can, Rest your elbows on the floor and your hands 
supporting your head. Just look at the floor about a foot in front of you. Close your eyes again. Take a few steady breaths. If you can't get your elbows on the floor, um, use a book or a block. four breaths and then lift the head out of the hands hands to the floor push on the hands walk them back towards you ease the legs together and take a full stretch up so your mind is relaxed your body is stretched and you're ready to go. Thank you everybody. Om Shanti. I hope you enjoy that.